Hey there, welcome back to a touch designer tutorial slash project overview. Uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today and I'm going to be releasing this pretty bare bones uh, project file for free. Um, and if you want to download this for free, absolutely free, uh, it's on my Patreon and you just click on there and you don't need to um, pay, like you can just sign up as a free member and you should be able to download it below. Let me know if there's any issues with that. Um, this is the first time I'm releasing some of you for free, but I plan to do a lot more of this in the future, especially to create um, project files like this to sort of help guide beginners to learn some very like um, common popular techniques in Touch Designer. And so the one we're looking at today is a particle sim using instancing. Now, rather than recreating this file, I sort of want to explain what's going on, uh, explain how it's broken up and allow you to download and sort of play with it yourself. Um, and then also recreate it if you want to. Uh, yeah. Um, but if it does help for me to go step by step through this and you like learning that way, there is another tutorial I did, which is a little bit more complicated than this one, but it goes through step by step. So just have a look through the channel. Awesome. Okay. So let's break down what is happening in this file. So essentially we have four main sections. We have our audio input with some sending of that information out. We have our point generation, the thing that sort of generates all the position data or where the points are going to be. We have the um, instancing of the geometry and then like the lighting and the camera as well as the material of the points. And then we have some post-processing um, with some very just common um, techniques used in Touch Designer. So I'm going to go through each of these sections here and outline what everything is doing and how it all works and then download this, play around with it, insert your own songs, use it however you please. Um, commercially, professionally, I don't care. Share anything you make from this. And if this is really helpful to help understand these sort of projects, let me know and I'll try create a beginner um, project for free with all major sort of touch designer techniques. Awesome. So what's going on here is that we are initializing a base shape like so, like a sphere with a SOP uh, material. So you could change this to a box if you wanted to. And then if we plug that in, here you can sort of see now it takes the shape of a square. There's a little bit more going on um, as to why it has a bit of little particles floating everywhere, but we'll get to that. It then sprinkles um, the points of the shape evenly uh, in the 3D space. We then convert this data to a SOP, oh sorry, to a chop, and then convert that to a top, which then we have initialized with the data format um, RGB here, and then fit to square. Basically, this is um, turning all the point data information into RGB values um, displayed like this. The what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate this color here um, with noise and randomness and then combine it back together and then plug that into geometry and say, hey, spawn a particle for each of the bits of RGB data that we pass in. So what we have going on here is we simply are splitting it into two different noise parameters. Um, one is a pure randomness one. So feel free to come in here and play with this pure random one. Um, like so by just pulling it out and then playing with some of the sliders, finding a desired look that you like. Uh, then we have this noise here, which is got some audio reactivity plugged in. It's also got a LFO for the amplitude. So you can see when the amplitude is quite low, it maintains the shape of a sphere. And then as this LFO increases, if we turn up the frequency, it sort of loses the shape and disperses the information a bit more. So the, the way I've um, structured this file is just by creating common techniques, like creating a little LFO that pushes and pulls the shape in and out. So you can sort of play around with this, maybe like um, turn up the intensity of that, or then maybe you want to change this noise for when it's displaced. Then we combine the two noises together. Um, so this is another thing that you can play with is by changing these shapes, uh, these combination techniques. Sorry, you can see you can get quite a lot of different shapes gonna keep that on what it was and then we just have a null which is outputting it into geometry 
Uh, in the geometry, we have a simple add with the add points going into the particle, rendering as point sprites, plugged into a geometry, and then uh, this is the material, a camera, and then the lighting. So please feel free to play with the, oh, sorry about that, that was just my cat. Um, with the things going on in here, you can see that the geometry is set to rotate on all axes. Play with this, you can maybe play with the scale. Um, this file is meant to be played around with, I'm not trying to create a tutorial right now for you to recreate it. Uh, we also have um, this ABS time code thing, which is a very common piece of code that you'll see across many touch designer projects. It just creates a uh, increase as like the project time, you know, perpetually increases. We apply that to the rotation for it to perpetually increase and I multiplied it by 10 on all the axes. So you can play around with these equations. You can play with the material. You can try different materials like this. You could add in an environment light. Sort of do as you please. Very good way to just learn the basics of rendering by playing around with lighting, going into these tabs, turning on shadows, trying to figure out how that all works with like the blending transparency and stuff like that. Just designed to play around. Um, but that's the main rendering component. Uh, this gets passed to a render out. We then have it feeding into a feedback, uh, which just creates a feedback loop. So if you drag that all the way down, you can see we lose a lot of that feedback and you can press one on your key to pulse that. That's another thing you could assign to audio reactivity potentially, but that's up to you. We have a bullet bloom, which uh, makes it, you know, glow. And again, please play around with this. Maybe you want to uh, change the color, do some freaky little things like that. We have a simple little, um, noise uh so like filter that's being applied here this is how i always do my noise filters with these three nodes so feel free to look at what i've done here um or copy and paste this across your projects You're more than welcome to simple rgb key for the background as well as displaying this toggled with your background and then a movie file out if you want to render this one out and then the very last thing we have is just audio technique and it's super simple here all we have going in is audio file in device out if you want to hear it that was really loud i apologize uh, then we have our audio analysis technique here um, you can click plus to interact with it and then play with these parameters and then from here you can click plus and drag these values onto um, your operators like if i scroll down um, and drag that hover over bloom you can drop it onto like your blur size and stuff like that but that's pretty much the file. Um, a little bit of a different technique or different kind of video today. A very short, just overview of the project. Uh, honestly, I had released this on Patreon already, but I thought I would um, share this on YouTube just to give it a video so people can find it and um, have a play around with it. Uh, I would love to hear people's feedback and thoughts on this because I know all the tutorials I do are essentially offering the project files for free, but I know a lot of people, um, you know, don't learn well from uh, just following tutorials. So I wanna be able to create some project files that people can dissect and learn on their own. So this is kind of just a different approach to teaching. I feel like um, these techniques in themselves are not really worth doing a tutorial video on, unless I do something a little bit more complicated. Uh, but I feel like this is a good project for beginners to build off of. Start adding in your own effects, start changing it and twisting it and doing whatever you want with it. But uh, yeah, let me know. Give me some feedback. Um, would love to hear what you think and would love to see what you create with this. Feel free to hit that download link in the description and a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated, but totally optional. All right, mean. Kept it under 10 minutes and uh, enjoy your day.